All right, so we're in the Wairapa today, checking out the first track. So it's windy, it's raining, it's going to be a pretty epic day. Just waiting for Gareth and a few other people to turn up, and then they're going to hit the trails. Okay, just coming down a Bucks Road campsite and heading up into the bush. It's a general consensus that the first part, we were walking it. So it's a little bit steep, a little bit rocky, but not too bad. about 15 minutes in yeah, from the aid station yeah, and so you go through a bunch of switchbacks and it's pretty rocky pretty rooty a little bit steep so we walked pretty much all of it uh, and so now it really gets steep So it opens up a bit after a couple of minutes and uh, you can see where the course has been cleared back. With the amount of chatting going on, it's not that steep that you can't talk and walk. That's about five minutes of quite steep climbing. I think it kind of levels off a little bit. Well, it looks a bit. That's 23 minutes out from the aid stations. We get our first views. Yeah. 
So now we're back to climbing again. It's a bit more open now. She got some more views. Just about half an hour in. So we're kind of bit on the ridge top. Oh, did you? And we're just going to wind along for a bit. This looks pretty good. It's quite sheltered in here with all the gorse. So it's quite pleasant moving. We're not riding, we're just walking. It's still quite pleasant. Okay, so just in the distance there's a Tiranico River. That's the river we'll be swimming up yeah. and then swimming back down to the finish. Running up into that. Um, so that's going to be interesting. Um, so it's pretty rough in here. It's pretty rocky, it's really wet, really slippery. Um, so you're probably not going to be running much along the fifth track. Uh, so just take it as a chance to recover after running up the river. Oh, this is fun. Only 90 more k's to go. So yeah, make sure you've done your power hiking practice. That will come into fruition on this section at least. Uh, but even though it's quite windy today, it's still quite sheltered in here because we're down inside the scrub. I think once we get up into the pilot track it's a bit more exposed. Well, but coming through here it's still quite pleasant really. And thankfully Doc cleared out most of the gorse. Coming up to the, the top, we're, we're up on top of the ridge now, and we're about to hit the wind. It's a bit more exposed up here now. So it's taken us 50 minutes to get up here. We've done just under two and a half k's. So you're not going to be running much of that. Even the flat bit, there's too much grass, um, and it's all really rough, so you can't see where your feet are going. So I would factor in walking. Pretty much all the first track. At least I'm going to.
so we're still on first track, still walking. It's flattened off now, we're on the ridge top. But the footing underneath is just so treacherous. Uh, with stumps and things to be cut off from the gorse bushes, you just can't run. So even though it's flat, we're not going to make up any time coming along here. That's encouraging. Okay, four k's in, we're going for an hour and twenty, and now, finally, we've got a bit we can run. Still pretty treacherous though. So it's not all uphill, there are some downhill bits. So we're about five and a half k's in, it's take us an hour and fifty to get here. Um, so it's pretty hard on the legs, pretty hard on the ankles, and you've got to focus the whole time because it's just so rough. Um, and there's loads of things sticking up where you can twist an ankle on, slip over. Um, so it's pretty slow going. So the average pace is 20 minutes per kilometre at the moment. Uh, and these guys weren't dawdling. So... Uh, this is not going to be the fastest section.
<laughs> two hours ten in. We've done six and a half k's. We still have a foot track, and now apparently we've come to the steepest part. So the previous bits apparently weren't very steep. Well, that was a climb. That was a big climb. Okay, so two and a half hours in. And you get up into this sub so point stuff. It's really pretty. And you're still not going to be running much of this at all. So it's just fact that then when you figure out how long it's going to take you, we're up until this part, part two and a half hours. Uh, and it's taken a bunch of energy to get up the hill as well. Uh, and that's on what is quite an easy day. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the hardest part, John. <laughs> you sure? Well, there's only another 30 k to go from here, right? So, as long as you just keep up an average 20, 20 minutes a kilometre pace, like we have been doing, it'll be fine. <laughs> You're not going to travel. <laughs> so, we're actually three hours 20 already. Yep. And yeah. you said three hours. Yeah. So we did that finish turn. No, 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 we're was... we here. Oh. So Especially if we hook up with the pylon track. Oh, do we have to? <laughs> Okay, uh, and then we head on over. So at the moment we're heading back down to the cars because we've done for today. So three hours, twenty to do first track. Uh, yeah, you're not going to run it. None of us are in it. And it's pretty exposed, so you want to bring good weather gear. There is drop points, but they do. You're right. It comes up. You're in like a hundred k wind, and it's kind of. No, it's fun.